Hi guys, my name is Mohammed Shehzad and you're watching my YouTube channel Skill Set with Shehzad. In this networking course, we will know how we can build a DSCP environment for our office. So we will make router act as a DSCP. So for example, we have four floors and in the fourth floor we have a first floor then we have a second floor then we have a third floor then we have a fourth floor okay so in each floor we have a one one switch okay and then we have a router in the middle which we will use for DSCP okay so this is our router DSCP so we have a four uh, <coughs> floors now so I'll say first floor and we'll go for second floor we'll go for third floor and we'll go for fourth floor Okay, so these are our floors and we'll connect our Ethernet cable from here, sorry, to here. And then we'll connect another cable here to here. And then we connect another cable here to here. Okay, it doesn't have uh, more ports so we will add two more we come here we turn off the switch and we will go two more Ethernet here turn on the switch close now we'll connect again here to here one more here to here okay so port 0 port 0 slash 0 is connected to first floor port 0 slash 1 is connected to third floor and port 1 slash 0 is connected to second floor and port 1 slash 1 is connected to fourth floor and on each floor we have three three pieces okay so we have three three pieces like this we have three pieces like this and here also we have uh, three pieces okay okay so I'll connect these three pieces here to here again here to here again here to here then again here to here oops we'll connect here to here again here to here here to here here to here again here to here again here to here to here and here to here and here to here okay so we have this router we want to configure DSCP for the all four networks and these four networks so here's the IP address 192.168. First floor. So I'll go 1.1 1 .1 slash 24. 
and here is two slash and here will be third floor so we will go for third slash and here will be fourth slash so I'm just changing the third octet as per the our floors so and we will give a router or this and then we will make a different pools here will be DSCP pool first floor so here we will make a DSCP pool second floor and here will be third floor third pool sorry and here will be DSCP fourth pool so I'll, you can put the name any name because we are making this one that's why I'm giving here regarding the floors here okay so let's configure the switch uh, sorry router in the router we'll go here enable configuration terminal host name I'll change DSCP router DSCP okay and sh I will go come out show IP interface brief there is nothing so first I will configure this zero interface path internet zero slash zero IP address 192.168.1.1255255255.0 no shut okay uh, one slash oh, we should change the IP address here it's a zero slash one so we'll go three sorry guys so we will go change IP so this one will be three okay then we will go interface for the turn as zero slash zero which is this one IP address 192.168.1.1255255255.0 enter no shut description you can give uh, first floor okay exit interface path it is 0 slash 1 this one is description is third floor exit exit show IP interface brief you can see two is up and two is still pending so fast one slash zero sorry okay count t interface fast interface fast what am I interface fast ethernet one slash zero ip address is 192.168.2.1 two five five two five five two five five dot zero no shut description is this is second floor okay exit interface pass ethernet one slash one description is fourth floor and IP address is one nine two dot one six eight dot four dot one two five five dot two five five two five five dot zero no shut write memory show IP interface brief okay so our all is up 
one, two, three, four. All the routers are up. So now we will make uh, DSCP configurations. Guys, remember always uh, we are excluding some IPs, which is our gateways, which is our DNS server, maybe our domain controller, or maybe our DSCP, uh, DNS, or uh, yes, DSCP also. So we have to exclude some of the IP addresses whenever we will configure. So what we'll do, I'll exclude this one, which is already I used. I will exclude this one. Okay, configuration T. First is IP DSCP exclude addresses. You can see here address 192.168.1.12. If you're gonna give a range, okay. 192.168.1210. I want to exclude this. Then I want to same go for a second one. 1010 10 IPs I will reserve. Okay, then the third one. 10 IPs from each range I will keep it for my use. This will, these 1 to 10 IPs will not be given to the clients. It's reserved for me and we can use it later okay so now we'll make a first pool for this one IP DSCP pool is a first floor floor network okay we will give 192.168.1.0 and then mask dot zero enter similarly we will go for two uh, sorry uh, no uh, no network we'll make a separate pool no network 192.168.2.0 okay okay here we'll say IP DSCP we are inside default server default route is 192.168.1.1 and DNS is server is like any of your DNS server you want to give, we will give this one. Okay, enter. This is the first pool created. I will go out, then again I will type IP DSCP pool, second floor, network 192.168.2.0, 2.0. Two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Enter default gateway one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one and DNS server. Enter and then exit. Then we'll create a third pool IP DSCP pool third floor network. Okay, three dot zero zero default gateway one nine two dot one six eight dot three dot one DNS is eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. I will come out and now we'll create a fourth pool IP DSCP pool fourth floor network is 192.168.4.0255255255.0 default gateway 192.168.4.1 and DNS is 8.8.8.8 enter exit exit write memory 
Okay, so running config, you can see our DSCP excluded, our four poles are here. First floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. Okay, so show IP interface brief, our all four interfaces up. Let's see now if we can see our any of them have uh, IP address. How we will get IP address? We'll click here in this computer and it should be from first pool. We'll go desktop, we'll go IP configuration. Here I will check DSCP. Let's see if it is getting the DSCP IP address. Nope, it's not reached yet we'll see what is the issue IP address okay IP config okay IP config slash release let's see okay renew It is carrying a not okay DSCP is failed let's check the second one this side we'll diagnose that one if this guy is getting yeah this guy is getting see it got IP address from the three so we'll check what's wrong with our first one no issues so this is it's got it third pool is getting from the third floor let's check the second another one what IP it will get DSCP okay it's getting okay let's check the second pool here what's wrong with this pool DSCP yeah this one is also getting let's get for the fourth pool We'll go to desktop here. Okay, fourth is getting. So all the pool is getting, but what this one, our this pool, is not getting the IP address. So let's see again one more time. This one we'll check. No, there is something wrong with the first pool. It's getting a pipa, a pipa IP being used so let's go and check in our switch what's wrong with the first pool okay the problem is this is there is no network see in this pool this problem remember we mistakenly put it another one and this is the problem let's go back to in this pool and give the network so see it's zero 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 it didn't pick up the network that's why that's the reason so we'll go into the configuration terminal IP DHCP pool we will take from there what is the correct name here copy and paste here we'll go network 192.168.1.0 make sure this is the gain the same network enter exit exit write memory show run now we can see our four pool and default route is there and this one also there so let's see now if any of our is getting uh, IP address okay still getting the happy bar. no issues we'll go and shut no shut the show IP interface brief configuration T interface fast 0 slash 0 shut down no shut okay 
exit exit write memory show run Okay, we have our same route here. One to ten excluded. Okay, we have a default, everything is fine. First pool is okay. We'll go show IP interface brief to check again. Okay, yes, this one we shut it down. Network is okay, protocol is everything is fine. Hopefully it will work now. Static DSCP. Hmm. Still. So what we will do, we will shut down all the ports from the switch. And then we'll check why this one is not getting up. Enable on P interface range fast 0 slash 1 to 8 shut down no shut exit exit let's see when it's get green this is green when this this are green so we'll see if the our these IPs are getting the IP addresses from the same router because three floors are okay here is one floor is something wrong let's figure it out okay now it's up let's see again statics DSCP mm, again okay Second one here. Otherwise, we'll delete and create a new pool. Okay, that's again. Hmm. Okay, fine, fine. Let's go for third one. Okay. Still getting with a pipa. No issues. So let's reboot this one. Switch. Reboot. How to reboot? We will turn off the power here. It's down. Turn on the power let's get it green so we are doing troubleshooting the same steps we did here otherwise we'll delete the pool and we'll create a new pool so let's troubleshoot today this one also let them get the green again this one because we have a facing issue in the first floor it's the first floor guys they are not getting the IP addresses we rebooted the switch we rebooted the our router let's see now okay it's green that one is green let's try now okay now getting see we need to restart the our router okay it's getting now the second one will also get here we go the third one will also get the DSCP in 192.168.1.13 okay all the DNS D DSCP and default routers everything is fine so that was the our lab hopefully you guys enjoy our lab how to create a DSCP as a router as a DSCP so if you like my video please do not forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for upcoming videos take care bye bye